Oh, hello. Tommy here again. <laughs> Slightly the worse for weather. Just passing, were you? No, 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 don't go. Come on in, have a cocktail. Cynthia's not here at the moment. <laughs> I'm just back from the club, you know, and having a quiet nightcap and tinkling the old mallet cat. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but it's funny how certain tunes bring memories flooding back from the past. The one I was just playing there reminded me of 1944, when I was a young officer in the Coldstream Guards. Now, I know there was a war on, but we had such fun in those days. We were also terribly gay. Now, I see you looking. I don't mean that way at all. No, there were no ass bandits in those days. They'd have been horsewhipped, what? <laughs> oh, yes. Rightly so. Yes, well, though, when I think about Reggie Cholmondley, Reggie could have been a poofter. He played the violin. Well, no, we were just young people caught up in the maelstrom of the war, merely enjoying ourselves, high spirits. <laughs> Every evening we'd have cocktails at the Ritz and, and then we'd all pile into Dubby Trubshaw's souped up La Gonda. Lovely car. And then we'd head off to Craglino's in Mayfair, doing 80 miles an hour on the pavement. <laughs> what fun, oh dear. And the people would just get out of your way, you know. I mean, people knew their place in those days, didn't they? Not like this trash we have today. Oh, God. And then later on in the evening, we'd, we'd all gather around the piano and the, the piano chappy would play lovely songs with lovely words, you know, not like this rubbish we have today. Ah, oh, <laughs> which reminds me that's exactly how I met Cynthia. She was standing on top of the piano, lovely legs. Hmm. And you know, I may be right, I may be wrong. And I was thoroughly willing to swear that when she turned and looked at me, a nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. Mm -hmm. 